Hello, listeners. How are you all? I hope by the grace of God you are fine. We thank God. We come to another lesson on mathematics. And today, what are we studying? We are to learn position and motion of what object in space. That's the main thing we are doing. And our objective, what we want to achieve at the end of the lesson, is what? Using the cardinal point to describe position and motion of objects. Good. Previously, we studied this and we talked about the cardinal point. So the cardinal point is north, south, east, and west. North, south, north, south, east, and west. And we used to describe objects. Now, our activity, the activity we want to do today is to use the description to show the position of the point on the graph sheet. I said, we are going to use what? Use the description given to us to show the position of the point on a graph sheet. That's what we are going to do. Now, first, we use the cardinal point to describe the position of the object. Now, we are going to use the description to draw the, what, the point on the cardinal point. On the cardinal point, or the graph point. Yes, so the description given to us one point A is to the east of point B, but to the south of point D. How can you do that? We are going to use the description here to draw the point on the hot, on the cardinal point or the graph sheet. So this is the cardinal point. They are saying that the point A is to the east of point what? B. So, this is my east. I will just indicate my A here as my point. Point A is to the east. So, this is the east. So, why I will just bring the B here? Have you seen it? I will just bring the B here because to the east and to what? And to the south of and to the to the south of point D. To the south of point D. Good. So, you see this? What are you going to do? You have to bring the A down here and bring the B to down. A to the south. So, this is our D. Have you seen it? So, we say point A is to the east. So, it's supposed to be at the east side of A. It's to the east of point D. And to the south, so down to the south of point what? D. Good. Let's go to number two. Point B is to the west of point A. But to the south of point C. So point B. You have point B already. Is to the west of point what? Point A, so it's there to the west. You see that it's there already. So to the west. Good. But to the south of point C. So I have to just indicate my C here. So you see, south. South. Downside of it is what? The south. Good. Let's go to my three. Point C is to the west of point D. Point C is to the west of point D, but to the north of point B. Let's see if we have to do anything here again. So it's a point what C. So this point C is to the west of point D, to the west. So it's there. Have you seen that? It's there already. But to the north of point B, this is to the north. So it's there at the top. So our point C is also correct here. Have you seen that? Good. And the last one, point D is to the east of point C, but to the north of point D. So they are giving us this description. We have to use it to, to draw our point on the graph sheet, or they are using the, what, the cardinal point. So point D is to the east, to the east of point C, to the east of point C. Have you seen that? The D is already there, to the east, so the east side of it. But to the north of point D, to the north of point B. You see that is there. Is there so we are correct. To the north of point B. 
the north of point B. That is okay. So go to the south, sorry, to the south. The north of point A, point A, sorry, north of point A. To the north of point A, because you can't change it again. So to the north of point what A. So point B is to the east of point C, but to the north of point A, because this is the direction. This is the direction. So point to the north. You use this same cardinal point to be the what? S and Y axis. When I say S and Y axis, Y is for the north, and then X east then here this side coming down will be negative and going to the other side this was also negative for x coming down negative for y going to the west negative for x so you end this one here today and you continue by learning reflection so i want to use your mirror well i'll ask you something about what your mirror when we are about to study the what? The reflection. So learn this well and know how to plot the point well. Because the same thing I'll be using when we are studying the reflection. If you end this lesson here today, I want to sit down, learn well, and make sure that you study well and you make sure you answer all my questions. So I'll post the videos for you and I'll make sure I'll give you some questions you answer them. I love you all. Until we meet again, say goodbye.